It is the end of session here in Ottawa and also the end of school for students across the country. So today, we've given our front bench panel a very special task. They're going to be grading the leaders. So let's bring back Christy Clark, Brian Glant, and Tom Mulcair. Somebody informed me I may have called you Tom Clark, a little nod to the Consul General in New York City. But seriously, Tom, we love having you here. Okay, so now you guys are going to hand out your grades. We're going to start with marks for the Prime Minister. Christy, what do you give Mr. Trudeau for this session? I'm going to give him a C minus. So I'm not that hard a marker. But, <laughs> you know, I, I don't like to give out Fs. And, you know, but I, I think that for me, he, this whole mess around this brush rap rapporteur, the, I mean, it was just so obvious from the very beginning that he wasn't going to be able to just slide through this. I really do think that this issue of foreign involvement in our elections is an incredibly serious one for Canadians. There is nothing more important than our democracy. And to kind of think he was going to get away with just, oh, well, it was bad. We'll have somebody to look into it, you know and they may or may not have anything to say to any I just think that was terrible. And I think, too, mm -hmm. that the, his fight with um, Alberta was completely unprovoked, unnecessary, and very, very divisive for the country. So, you know, he's barely passing grade. Brian, what do you think? Uh, C plus for me. I, I think, uh, to Christy's point, there was a bit of a misjudge of the pressure that was on them for the inquiry, so that was a bit of a misfire. Um, but on the positive side, there was a tougher budget, relatively speaking, for the Trudeau government, and, and it passed uh, with really no big issue. Uh, Podiev made a bit of a stink and said that they would make a big stink, but that just never happened. And passed some important legislation as well, which, uh, which uh, Ms. Mark Holland was speaking to earlier in your show. Um, the only other thing I would say is that despite Despite the fact that they're losing ground on polling, uh, some solid by-election efforts. I mean, sort of surpassing expectations on by-election. So there's a bit of a mixed bag there, but, but essentially that uh, it comes with the result of a C-plus. Professor Mulcair, what do you give Mr. Trudeau? I'm right in between the two. I would have given him a C, um, mostly because of uh, his bad performance with the cover-up of the Chinese government interference. Mm -hmm. It didn't wash. The average Canadian saw through it. Trudeau's usually very good at this stuff, but this was so transparent, trying to use David Johnson as some sort of stalling tactic. It was in, inelegant, and, and it failed completely. So I think that that's been a problem. For people who care a lot about the environment, Mike, I'd add that uh, Canada's performance on climate change con continues to be very weak. And we had a budget mm -hmm. where we were going to increase uh, subsidies to oil companies, thanks to the work of the opposition Bloc Québécois. They brought forward an opposition motion that the Liberals voted for, that would remove all subsidies to oil and gas companies after having put it in their budget a little while earlier. The Liberals voted for that motion to remove them. So go figure that one out. But I think that the, the Liberals overall certainly don't merit more than a C, given the type of uh, spring session they've been through. And speaking of C, let's head to the Conservatives, because that's their logo, not because of the mark that you're going to give them. Brian, what do you think of Pierre Polyev this, uh, this term? Uh, I have to give him a B uh, and, and reason for it. I think on the positive... He certainly has done a good job over the last few months. He's been very solid as the opposition leader, concise in his messaging on affordability. Uh, I do think, however, that he is from time to time kind of providing ammunition to the Liberals that they'll be able to use in a general campaign, to, to general election campaign, to essentially paint the Conservatives, as the Liberals would say, uh, too right wing for, for sort of central Canada and other parts of Canada. Um, and a mixed bag, again, on the polling. There's solid polling numbers, for sure, nationally, uh, giving a sense of momentum. But that's kind of dampened by, by weak by-elections. Eh? No surprises, no sort of steals, not even really great uh, percentages that they could point to in those by-elections. So that's a bit of a mixed bag. Result is a beat. Okay, I don't want to shortchange anybody, but we, we're running out of time. We only got two minutes to get through the rest of this with Mr. Polyev and then Mr. Singh. So, Tom, take it away on Mr. Polyev. Keep it short, if you don't mind. B for the Conservatives. Best of times, worst of times. Very good work, for example, on pocketbook issues, talking to young people about accessible housing. That's really working. At the same time, in the by-election this week in Manitoba, what did he do? Against Bernier, he used homophobic tropes. That's going to cost him big time, as Brian was suggesting, come the general election in places like Toronto and Vancouver. Christy, what do you think of the Conservative leader? 
You know, I think he did a pretty good job. I worry that he his his um, rhetoric sometimes feels a little bit divisive for Canadians. So I think you know I, I would stop mm. short of giving him an A, but I think he did a hell of a job holding the government to account on huge budget spending, massive increase in the debt. I mean, all of that stuff he was, and on the kind of cost of living, he was very very strong on that. For Jagmeet Singh, you know, he takes credit for everything. Liberals have done, and he gets away with it, which I think is, you know, uh, that's a good political tactic. And I, you know, for him, I'm going to give him maybe a B plus, just on pure presentation and taking credit for stuff he didn't do. Twenty seconds less, so I only have time for letters. Tom on Jagmeet Singh. I'd have to give him a B. The numbers dropped in all four by-elections for the NDP. That's not a good sign. Uh, Brian, B last for one me. to you. B for me, he's been relevant, but uh, he's also having a tough time explaining why he's continuing to support the Trudeau government when at the same time saying he's assaulting democracy. Appreciate it all. Tom Mulcair, Christy Clark, and Brian Gallant, thank you so